Okay, great. And I know you're going to tell us a little bit more about that and how people can help out in just a few minutes. Oh, yes. So we don't, we, we don't want to forget that. So no. <laughs> remind no, me no, in no. case I do. Um, I wonder if you could tell our viewers or explain to our viewers why, why would somebody want to belong to Umbrella, either as a member or, or as a handy person? Mm -hmm. what, what, how do you sum it up? Well, if you're looking to, if you would like to stay in your home, mm -hmm. Umbrella is a good option. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking to combine it, say you have a um, health care issue and you, have, you, you want to stay in your home and you need some health care, there's a lot of fine agencies out there mm -hmm. that provide that, home mm -hmm. health aid agencies. But usually the piece that is mm -hmm. missing is the home maintenance piece. Mm -hmm. And if that's the piece that's missing, you may want to call us and check us out. Mm -hmm. that, and you want the peace of mind that somebody's going to be able to help you sure. keeping your house up to sure. what it should be in your sure. mind. Sure. And that's, that's why I think people would like to be part of Umbrella mm -hmm. and to be part of something mm -hmm. that helps not belong to, but be part of something mm -hmm. that has your best interest at heart. Sure, sure. And um, just back to some of the obstacles that, that prevent people from staying in their own home. Are there a, a couple that really kind of stand out uh, in your mind? Uh, Maintaining the outside of the house outside. is very difficult oh. for a lot of people. Sure. Um, the majority of people in the program mm -hmm. are widows, mm -hmm. and their husbands took care of many things. Right. And some, some of these women have never been in the basement and wouldn't know where a main shutoff was. Oh, right, right. Um, sure, I, uh, I would understand, right. Electrical. Electrical. Is, mm -hmm. uh, so you may be really great at, say, putting in a light bulb, mm -hmm. but if you had a shortage in the house, sure. what do you do with that? Right. And what Umbrella does is, like, we since we screen everyone, mm -hmm. we have also licensed people that work with us who give us a very sure. good rate. Right. So yeah. it and that rate, it, there's nothing charged back by Umbrella. Right. We make no money on the services that are provided sure. by the organization. So people have a place they can go to where they can, if, if a person wants to have a place they can go to and get the help that they, sure. they're looking for, sure. they can call us sure. and we will help them do it. And if mm -hmm. we can't do it, right. we help to locate somebody sure. who can. Now, does it have to be something that needs to be repaired or could it be something as simple as maybe just getting rid of some clutter? We do that, that too. Uh, you know, over, over, as the years go by, mm -hmm. people save yeah. things and the next thing you know, oh my gosh, I, ah, I can't We've move. cleaned out <laughs> basements, garages, so, uh -huh. things like mm -hmm. that. Sure. Um, or help we help with organizing. Okay. Some people have okay. a tremendous amount of things in their house and they right. wouldn't know where to begin. Right. We have people that help with that. Okay. Okay. Well, that's so very important to know because that, that is a big problem for a lot of people. It right? is. Yeah. And yes. Big yes. Problem. And you find more of it. Sure. As time goes on. Now, how can people get in touch with Umbrella? Say they, they want to become a member, they want to refer somebody, they want to be possibly considered to be a handy person? Well, they can uh, they can give us a call at our office okay. at 346-5249. Uh, 346-5249. And you don't have to worry about writing that down because we will put it on the uh, on the website, CBS's website. Umbrella has a website. It's www.theumbrella. Okay, www. The, the umbrella. Umbrella, very important. The umbrella. Dot okay. org. Dot org. Okay. Dot o r g. And that's how they can so, get in touch with us. And uh, just give Elaine a call or uh, any of the staff members there. And we'd sure. be happy to help. And we'd happy be happy to help. to help. Right. Well, that's wonderful. Now, um, before I forget, I I, <laughs> I want to yes. ask you about um, what what is the art of the umbrella. What is that all about? Art of the Umbrella is Umbrella's largest fundraiser. Okay. And what it is, it's a collaboration of artists that live in the community okay. who create works of art okay. based on the Umbrella as the inspiration or Umbrella's mission statement, and which is to keep people at home. Right. So we've been getting... We've been getting works of art that are coming in now that we have painting, we have sculpture, oh. we have we have jewelry. I was going to say, I know you have something that you want to share, show. To, this is everyone. functional so. art, ladies and gentlemen. That's yes. And yes. this yes. is hold a, it against the white. This oh, is a pen. Please. This is this absolutely beautiful pen. 
that was created. It's gorgeous. By one of our wonderful artists, Valerie. Mm -hmm. And it is also Oh, how neat. I love that. That's great. You have a place That's to hang great. your glasses. Wow. So it's you just pin it to your your shirt or your lapel. And, and you won't and, forget your glasses. And you always know where they <laughs> are. Because I don't know about you people, but I'm always losing mine. <laughs> but we also have some... That's great. Uh, we have fine art. Well, thank you. And yeah, I know you've got something else there. I have there, one more right? piece here. Sure. And this piece is by Marie-Louise McHugh, who is a national, yep. nationally renowned artist. And she has donated this piece called Duets. That's lovely. Isn't that, that wonderful? Is very, very nice. It's called duets. It's called duets. Very nice. Wow. So we're very excited to have to have artists of, of this caliber to be joining us. I guess so. And this is going to take place uh, uh, June seventh. Uh, see, I think I've got I've got it right here. Right June here. June seventh. It'll be alive. That or not, but again, we'll have this on the website. And so. it, the information is on the website as well. And it's so. going to be at Proctor's GE at Theater. At the GE Theater. June seventh. June seventh at six o'clock in the evening, right? And uh, tickets are thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. Very reasonable, I think. So, and it's a very casual, light fair. Sure. Um, it'll be. F it's been fun. It, mm. It's. It, you, you've a done lot. this other years. Yes, we okay. did it um, in two thousand and seven and two thousand and eight. Okay. And then when the economy crashed, we stopped okay. because we didn't think it was right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> have, so now you have a fundraiser. So haven't done one for a while. So hopefully people will come out June the seventh at Proctor's GE Theater, six o'clock. Tickets are thirty-five dollars. And uh, it's called The Art of the Umbrella, to uh, help out the uh, umbrella of the capital region. All right. Well, Elaine, I, I, I can't thank you enough for coming down today well, thank and you for sharing having. all this great information for folks. And it's great to see you again. Same here. And, uh, again, if you have any questions, give Elaine a call. The number's on the website. And uh, I thank everybody for logging on today, and we'll see you next month. Have a great one. Thank you. Bye-bye.